There we go. So, structure, right? So we'll start with this little thing of tiger balm. So what is its structure? How would you describe it? Six-sided shape. Tiny. What's the form? A. Its form is 3D. Yeah, 3D. Okay. So it has, you know, six, seven, eight sides, kind of. But then it also has this little circular bit for this, right? Mm -hmm. So it's more than eight sides. It's more like nine. You see what I mean? And then it has these weird little the connection from this point to the circle. It's got that too. And it smells like this? menthol. Tiger balm? It is an ointment. For like beards and stuff? No, no, for... Because <laughs> 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 he has a beard, he has a, like some type of oh. oil for a beard. <laughs> 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 I have a beard, they, I'm gonna be putting oil on it. No, but, but they, they do make such things, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when we, uh, when we go to, to, to draw that sort of thing, I'll show you a cool little medium. This is a water, this is a watercolor pencil. So I'll show you what happens. Um, so when you want to draw something like this, you want to draw the whole entire structure, right? So it's basically, you have a, a linear perspective situation, right? Where you're going to be drawing this thing on that plane. So you have to locate the little hexagon, like in, inside the little square, right? You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? because the hexagon is receding. So you have to kind of ground it. And then from there you project the hexagon upwards. Drawing all the sides. This is kind of wonky and asymmetrical, but we'll fix that as we go along. That's because you only did five. Oh yeah. <laughs> See. I can't think and draw. And and talk at the same time, right? Very few people can. Can't math. But that's okay. Doesn't matter. You just go over and correct, right? Mm. Then you need your circle. Well, ellipse, right? Because the circle in perspective is, is an ellipse. And you need a slightly larger one <coughs> for the uh, bottom. And then you're going to have the last for the lid, right? Dang, that's a big phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be on YouTube. Mm. In Japan. Yep. Dang, that's a big phone. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the cell phones in the nineties were so dumb. I don't like Americans, the crap that they do with our electronics, but in Japan you can use this as a phone. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I need that's because Japan that is. I do. Right. I do. I just don't like having two items. So I can use, I can actually use the label to reinforce some of this perspective. So the reason that you want to draw all the way through is so that you, um, you as an artist sort of understand this, this form better, right? So it looks messy, but what I can do is I can take my little water brush and uh, fix it. This is, this brush has water inside it. So I can I can do a, a complete value drawing. Mm -hmm. Can uh, you go buy those? What's that? Can you yeah, go buy those? Yeah, that's if you want. How much are they? Four bucks or something like that. Mm, it's too too steep. Uh, it's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's you know, you think like a if you get really into it, fifty cent. Fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you fifty like, cent for that pen. Yeah, I'll give you two, I'll give you two bucks for it. Or you can get a regular brush, I guess. Get yeah. There. Yeah, you could get a regular brush. Yeah, but what's keep fun? Dipping it in water. Yeah, dipping it in water. This is this is uh, this is portable, right? So then shadow, right? How is this cheating? Because you're not really. I don't. There's not really cheating. What I'm saying is like having technique is never cheating, right? Right. Just easy. That's all this. I'm just showing you. I'm showing you quick and easy ways to do awesome stuff, right? Yeah. That's what that's what drawing is all about. Taking shortcuts. Mm-hmm. 
No awesomeness. Having well, right? no awesomeness, yes. <laughs> that is what drawing is all about, right? So that was like a two minute full value study, <clears throat> which is where we're headed. So, but for now, I just want you to, to think in terms of structure, right? So I want you to take whatever form that you're doing and really pay attention to really pay attention to the to the structures and how they go and proportions and stuff. And then whenever you mess up, you just readjust, right? Yeah. You don't have to. But then you can't erase it. No, you don't want to erase. You just use you just use the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to draw light, you know, but you just use the previous marks as uh, value for your final drawing, you know? Do you see how that works? How you don't have to erase? You just wind up using stuff. And then if I spend, if I spend a long time and was very delicate with this, I could, you know, get in as much detail as I wanted. And keep just kind of adjusting the form. I could add in the Tiger Bomb logo-ish stuff and whatnot. And then I can pick out with heavier lines sort of the main structural things that I want to include. <coughs> right. And what for now, it doesn't it doesn't matter like too much the like the quality of it doesn't matter. What I want you to understand is just the thinking through the forms part, because that is basically the the foundation for everything that we do next. And if you can't think through an, a whole entire form, back, front, side, then you're in trouble. So if you get the proportions off, like here, like I did, it doesn't really matter because I'm thinking in three dimensions. And where, what you want to do is be able to think in, in 3D, right? So if I take a different form, like, hand me that box. Or, yeah, anyone. So if I take a box, right, I know that it's going to be in linear perspective. You know? So this would be two point because I'm looking at a corner. So I know that these lines have to converge somewhere, right? And I can further nail down the proportions as I go along. So these lines have to converge way over there, roughly, just like these do, right? So now I just have to make sure that I understand the rest of the box, and then I can, then I can add in detail like the lid or whatever. I can mess up this corner. I can start to add these sort of almost coffin-like. <laughs> details to it. So boxes are really good to start with because we just did perspective, you know, and then, oh. you know what I mean? I so we're, so we'll, we, then you lay out, lay out the shadow, right? Anything else? Kind of cool, huh? So this is the ground line. This is the kind of rough outline of the shadow. These are the front, the front planes. All done. So you can do st structural studies like that. Now if you want to take more time and be very careful about it and get a little bit into value, that would be fine too. And the trick to value is that every time there's a plane shift, there's a shift in value. So if the direction of this box changes, I know that the value has to change. Right? And you only need three values to make something dimensional, right? So here, I could make this one value, like that. I could make this a slightly different value. I could leave the top, you know, how it is. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you're, what you want to do when you do values, you want to find the darkest spot which in this, it actually is this edge like right along under the, under the object or under the box.
And then with the water brush and the watercolor thing, all you have to do to get really dark is just spread a little water on there. Mm -hmm. Perspective. Because I'm using linear perspective to reinforce the, the object. And then I, while it's wet, I can push that in too. See how dark that got yeah. really quickly? So that's called, I call that anchoring. So I've taken my darkest dark and found it, and I've anchored it to the what thing. Oh, this is a watercolor pencil. Oh. And then, you know, Oops. for the brush, quick deposit value. And then I can kind of draw with the brush too. I don't even need to like necessarily add a lot of pencil to the top. I can just blend around what's there. You notice how those lines that, are, that I drew through, they disappear as I blend? Mm -hmm. So that's the same with when you're just drawing normally. They'll blend out as you go along. So if you make smudges with your hands, it's not a big deal. So that's just depositing more value on there. What I love about the water brush is that it doesn't have to be perfect. And you get a nice little sketch. So this is the fine art of the quick sketch, right? <coughs> Done. You can do that with people in about the same amount of time uh, with a lot of practice. So, but it starts here. 